Hello and welcome to another Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. My name is Vertnox, otherwise known as Mr. Vertnox, if you're feeling formal as always. And welcome to another Let's Play Dwarf Fortress tutorial uh, episode uh, 32. Alright, just checking on my status there. Alright, so we just traded a bunch of crap off to the dwarves, and I remember I was very happy about that last time. I was very sore in my hands from all that trading. And I guess we can tell our broker to not... he's not requested. Alright, so let him do his thing. And as we continue, continue on our glorious fort, our FPS has gotten a lot better well, not really. It's like too, too better than it was. I don't know if it's counted. If the items are counted differently in the, uh, in the, um, in the whole. All right, we need to get the clothier shops back up. So we got. S uh, new task cloth cloths. Let's go with socks first. Cloth, trousers, and cloth, dress. We'll make yarn. I, I, I think I bought yarn stuff. Yarn, sock. I guess we didn't get the uh, yarn trousers. Yarn dress. All right, I guess we didn't get the um, what do you call it? Uh, let's extract metal strands as well. I guess we we have to wait to another year before we get uh, the uh, ram and ooh, so they can breed for our cloth industry and our little place over here that we're going to dig. I don't know. You know, I just noticed something. The grate's been like... Oh, it's still there. For a second there, I thought the grate had been removed by a troll and then be something coming up our well. I don't know. I don't think I animals can get up. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'd like to know if animals can get up whales. I just always put a grate there to be safe because you never know. All right. Um, that's not what I wanted. I wanted Z stocks and anvils, litter bars. Steel, we got eight. Uh, and what do we want to do? Anvils. Melt, melt. Let that go on. And I guess they're just packing everything up and moving around. Let's check on our fortress bed situation. Looks like, oops. Yeah, we need to... Add this to our... Including the jail. Needs to be added to our burrow. All right, where were we? And we wanted to sign beds. This way, they'll automatically pick beds. The old way, I used to just, you know, manually assign each and every single dwarf, and that was not fun. And just a vague recollection. I had like a spiel that my last video, I think I um, had to talk about why alcohol should be allowed at work. Let's see, bed. 
we have to fill the rest of these up. Alright, so let's continue. I'll take a nap while that's going on. What are they doing with the gold bars there? I really don't know where they got the... I guess, oh, that's right. They must have had some in the stockpile that we bought. I don't know. We should smelt some of those anvils and get some iron and steel. Make some steel traps. Protect our hives. Our glorious hives need to be protected. Alright. P. Feud. There's something I needed to do with food bins. I, I can't remember what I did with... We got forbid plants, and that was it. I don't know. Maybe honey. I don't know. Why would lie go in their food stockpile? I don't know. No, it's not even really um, a food product. All right, let's check downstairs. So we dig deeper into the hole. Eventually we'll have some fun, I guess. We've got a lot of adamantium gear going on. Stocks aren't being refilled fast enough. Alright. Uh, I was thinking about doing a Crusaders Kings Let's Play. Um... So me and some friends, uh, we were going to play today, but somehow the checksum got messed up. And we got to figure out what, how, why the checksum is messed up. And I think, because one of them, he was messing with the dynasties, I think, and he totally hosed his game. So we'll, we'll, he has to reinstall and get everything working back up and running. But I, I think I might do like a Let's Play um, Crusader Kings 2 multiplayer game. And have everybody on uh, Skype. It might be hard to hear me the more I think about it, but I don't know. If you think that'd be interesting to have a uh, let's play multiplayer, I don't know. Just something. If I can get it working, then I'll probably record it. But again, we're having some problems with checksum, and it does like. We're trying to figure out why he's not got the right checks. And he's like, well, did you modify any of your files? And he said, well, yeah. I modified the dynasties. And then the checksum changed after that. And I was like, oh, well, that's probably why we can't.
play multiplayer together because apparently you have to have the check sum equal the same. It's for cheating purposes, I guess. If somebody modified their files, you have to have the exact check sum. Anyways, I'm just rambling about that. I love how they just pick up all their clothing and try to cram it into the one stockpile. Oh. I don't know what I should be doing. I feel like I should be doing something, but I haven't really... Guess we should. Are they cooking? Uh, I believe they are. That's not a way to prepare. Mm, easy meal. Make some egg biscuits. When did I start? Like seven oh eight. I'll probably just make this a short video because I, I kind of really don't have anything to do. Are those? Marmots, capybaras, capture them and train them. I don't think you can shear them though. The injured turkey's just hanging out. It's always hanging out there. I'm surprised they don't get the, all those clothing. It's claimed. I don't know. bunch of idlers. I shouldn't care too much. Oh, I'm about to take a nap. Some leftover pizza and some leftover pork. Fried pork. It's pretty good. It's horrible. The most non-kosher meal in the world is like fried pork. Alright, yes I know. Oh, it's more wine. Probably upload all the videos tonight. rabbits. You know, somebody actually suggested on the forums they should make animals go graze instead of hang out on the uh, meeting areas. Is that an injured child too? Hmm. Child with a medium length mustache. He's neatly coned his very long beard is neatly combed. I don't know if girls have beards. I wonder how long she'll live. I guess they'll live long as they feed them. Hmm, think about building a hospital. I'll build a hospital when I get to hell. Because that'll probably be the... We should get there eventually. I heard the side of my mouth today. And I, I bit the side of my mouth and it's just like... I heard it's really bad. It's hard to talk. I'm feeling my tongue. I don't know. Just something really annoying. I hate when I do that. I'm sure everybody does that to bite the side of their mouth or tongue or something at one time. It's been like they go without months without doing it and then it's one day he's like ow, 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 ow. 
Got a bunch of anvils and doors. That's why we bought those anvils to smelt it down to get the iron and iron ore and steel. It's probably the easiest way to get steel anything is just get the anvils. Smelt it down. Hmm. I like how this graphic pack says different season trees. I don't know about the uh, original version, but it's kind of interesting to see trees change colors in the fall, winter, and I don't know, just a neat thing. I wonder if our food stockpile is too far away. Well, they got to light a ton of food and alcohol between there and there, so I don't see why not. They just need more room. Why don't they use more pots? So we got all these pots they can use. I dug downstairs, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't really feel like going through the ish going through it right now. Move the furniture all over one. Free up the space. Is that that legendary piece of artifact? No, just a regular mechanicism. Mechanism. And I think I was going to play some more uh, Age of Empires tonight. I don't know. It's kind of t take and go or give and take. Um, it's an alright game. It's just kind of tedious because you do the same thing each time. You build up. And that's what you do in the multiplayer. That's why I don't like StarCraft and uh, RTSs that much is because there's only so many moves that you've got. You basically make a build. You attack basically build an overwhelming force and then you attack and that's that's basically all the RTS's deal. That's why I like uh, Paradox Interactive's RTS is a lot better because you strategy, it's a lar long time for build up, especially Arch Iron 3 which I was going to do a let's play of um, but now that they got the new pack I, I'm going to wait till the new expansion pack and then do a let's play. I don't know. It might be a while before they come out. It's I mentioned that in the previous videos. It was uh, their finest hour. Hmm. Feel like I should be doing something, but I I don't know what I I, I mean. I built all the beds out. I guess I could actually count how many beds and doors I need. And then, but you can only do 30 at a time, which is kind of annoying. Check our noble screen. Mayor is good, doesn't want anything. So that we don't really need a gel. I think gel is only for tantering people. I guess I could build a hospital. I don't really care enough about my dwarves to build hospitals. Dwarven. I wonder if the dwarven child in the bed gets possessed. I don't know. They should be leaving already. I'm looking for the mayor. Making sure they don't have any. No, they don't have any. Maybe they do. 
Let's turn off uh, all their stuff. So they can conduct their meetings. Is this the mayor? Yeah, it's conducting a meeting with their children. It's kind of easy once you kill uh, kill your noble. They should make it so you, re you have to replace the noble. I don't know. Damn crazy child. I guess it's been almost 10 years since we've started the game. 10 in game years, I guess. Let's see, it's 259. And it's going to be year 260, so. Hopefully a lot of these kids will be growing up. Yeah, I know they're claiming drafts. And I'm going to make a furniture stockpile downstairs. Anvils, I guess they count as furniture. And the doors. I mean, once that project's done, probably a vampire will show up, but besides that, I don't know. Maybe I built it too far down. What happened? Yeah, it's begun construction. Yeah, we normally have enough goods at this point for them to make whatever whatever they need. I don't know why I didn't take a higher up crest door shop. It would have been nice if he did. Instead of one that actually had active active building buildings going on. So we got a coffin we could build. I don't know. Check out our. See if we can press some honey. Nope. How is our stocks doing? We got a lot of drink, a lot of meat, a lot of fish, a lot of plant. No one's starving anytime soon. We're running out of alcohol drinks. All right, hold on. That caps lock on. Oh, that's the outpost liaison. <laughs> it's like, why can't I make him do anything? Oh, he's gone. So, another year of doing nothing much. Wish the caravan would leave. Hopefully, our FPS will improve. If like, improve by two. Well, it's going to 35, 36. Hopefully our FPS will improve by taking all that crap off the screen. That's one way to handle it, to sell all your old clothes. Get rid of all your old clothes, sell them off, increase your frame rate for goods that you need. Ooh, I'm so tired. I might quit early on this one. I don't really have much to do. We got in the place, hopefully if you watch this tutorial all the way through, um, you've learned a lot. Um, I mean, basically we haven't had to reclaim this fort once. Not due to a tantrum spile or, or invasion or... Basically, this fort is able to withstand most of everything at this point, and we haven't really had to worry about reclaiming a fort. Now, I kind of almost wanted to show you how to reclaim a fort, because that's something you'll probably do at least once.
if you're first starting out Dwarf Fortress. Ooh, excuse me. A tower cap earring. Ooh, whoop de doo Feel like I should throw the child in the wheelbarrow. <laughs> or throw the child in front of the train. Put an end to that crap. That's what some people do, like when dwarves have like moods. They burrow them into uh areas and then they wall them off and let them starve to death because they just don't want to deal with stupid dwarves. Make wanna make making useless crap. Taking up their gear. Ooh, there's a lot of anvils there, but I guess that's they can smelt all those. Actually, make sure they're smelting. We'll make them adamantium wafers here because we got a lot of thread. Because we could make copper serrated discs. I don't know. Combat. Oh, they're sparring. We could look at the combat logs. <sighs> oh, nope. No recent announcements. It's been too long. I guess yeah, if you wait too long, then you can't see what the exact things they've done. I see one eyed hanging out sparring, blinking because of his injuries. That child survives, I guess. I'm going to call this survive. Or if that child survives all the way up to adulthood, I'll make a hospital. I just tagged it so I could make sure. Ooh, excuse me. I guess they'll go insane for because the doors won't get them clothing. I wonder if that will be an issue. Like all the clothes fall off, there's then they're naked, trapped in bed. But they can't go anywhere because they're crippled. The legs are broken, so you know they're not going to go anywhere. All right. Oh, good. Thirty minutes to spend. Oh, excuse me. I guess I could start playing another game while this is running. It'd be a horrible way to play a game. Actually, I did that. Like playing World of Warcraft, you had to wait like, n like when they came out the expansion, you had to wait like forty minutes to get a dungeon. So you'd be alt tab most of the time. That's why I got a dual screen monitor, is like so I could do something in the other window while the. Uh, Q was going on. So I think we made all the doors. In bed. Oh dear. I guess all we have to do is build out the beds. Ah. And doors. My last mega project for the Ford is give everybody a bed. Alright. Sign the beds. R. Enter. And as people get sleepy, they'll claim a bed. You know what? There was a thing in there that uh, 
it's almost impossible to really do unless you got a really small fort. But vampires don't claim beds because they never sleep. Um, oh yeah, you am. They never sleep, so in theory you could basically assign all your beds like that. And whoever didn't claim a bed, you could say, well, that's not a vampire, but... That'd be really tedious. Really tedious to do. And I would not do that to find a vampire. do 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 do, do. Nothing really going on. And dig to dig deeper. Cause I want something to happen. Can't dig there. Dig deeper until we all die horribly. You know that, that, car, that caravan's going to take a really long time to leave because of all the crap we put on it. Put a ton of crap on it. Mmm, good wine. Ugh. I guess buckets are considered furniture, of all things. They should give our stockpile some breathing room. I guess bins are considered furniture. I don't know why, but they are. I wonder why they have X's instead of some other graphic. That's a really strange thing. I don't know. I don't know why bins have another, don't have another graphic other than X in this tile set. Alright. Their stockpiles are working fine. We got plenty of food and drink. We've got more than enough food to last a hundred years. We could we could like basically wall ourselves up and actually not really have to worry about uh a siege starving us out. What are those? Wild boars. I guess they fixed that in the tile set because I remember those wild boars weren't showing up in the previous tile set. So I guess maybe upgrading the tile set fixed that, which is actually good. If we had a hunter, we could hunt them, but I'm not really. I know. Warm stone. I keep thinking I can dig right there, but it's not, you can't, because the, the lava is like right in the corner. Is 
See little beasties running around down there. Fire imps and so on. I guess I'm going to upload all this tonight. I got, I got a backlog of videos. And I don't know if it's fat. I'm not going to play anything that really needs to worry about lag. Because Age of Empire really doesn't really... I promised my friends I would get up early tomorrow to play some Crusader Kings. Um, but I am going to stay up late as usual. I guess I could go to bed early. Get up early. That, that's not like me though. Alright. I gotta figure out how many videos I got. Let me do that while we're waiting. So I got 31 and oh yeah, I also play League of Legends, but I don't really like it too much. So 29, 30. One, two, so I'm going to have three, three videos to upload. Hopefully it won't take too long. Alright, our lovely fortress of Aethel Ring. I'm called Ring to Burn. Our lovely fortress of Ring to Burn is moving along smoothly and in order. I guess this happens when you play the game well. <laughs> things aren't so crazy as like I don't know for some people like getting this to this point is like almost impossible to have like a fortress that runs smoothly like people aren't tantruming they're behaving I don't know and we're not being mauled by you know, we're really missing is some monsters and I, I think I don't know because our world generally we have 250 years of history they shouldn't have all died out 250 years is kind of young, so I'm surprised we haven't got any forgotten beasts. Uh, I used F6, didn't I? We could go cave exploring. Pick up some silk. We really could get a Forgotten Beast, because that corner right there is going off the edge of the map. I don't know. Could be like a food stockpile way downstairs, make it easier for people to eat, but then have to build a dining hall downstairs. I don't know. It's nothing really to do. I guess we could torture things. We do that. I don't know. I'm thinking about making a pit.
I don't know. I'm just thinking about digging a hole, throwing goblins down it. Maybe I'll finish that later, but I don't know. Something to do. We can make a trip trip fall for like a uh, dwarves to uh, I don't know. I'm not really that interested in, in making it right now, though. We got a lot of chickens now, don't we? Mm -mm -mm. We can stick the uh, minotaur and the uh, animals outside. Somebody's got pet rabbit goes outside. Should put them down. I guess you can't really shear rabbits, can you? They really haven't been putting this stuff back in the stockpile. There was a way to actually prevent them from linking, like forbid a stockpile. I would do that, like say you can't get it from these stockpiles. That'd be an awesome feature, though. I'm just thinking out loud. I thought I'd have a lot to do now that I did the trading. I, I think that trading wore me out last video. This video is not as interesting as the previous ones. I mean, I'm not screaming or cursing or really drunk. I don't know. I feel like I should move that thing lower. Dig deeper. Eventually, we'll get to the hell. Eventually. Eventually, I'll probably dig all the way down to the bottom and still not get to it. How am I going to dig that? pump the lava up in the bottom. Somebody did recommend doing that, but I don't really think it's necessary to make a pump magma pump stack. They can walk downstairs. As you see, I've gotten by just fine without pumping the magma up. I guess I could pump magma out into the world. Burn the world. I don't know really what I should do. Ooh, excuse me. I'm about ready to take a nap. Maybe I should have took a nap before playing this. Alright. Come on, something. I'd, I'd like a forgotten beast at least. I don't know why, because I found caverns. And once you find caverns, you should get at least one forgotten beast. Did we make everything? Nope, oh, still making the doors. I'm going to check, make sure they've been assigned.
Apparently they're not assigning the beds. Except some, I don't know, they're picking beds at random. I don't think they pick the beds till they actually sleep. And doors don't sleep all the time. It's kind of weird. They go weeks without sleeping. If you go by the real time. And it goes weeks without drinking. But when they drink, they I think they drink like a car like a size of a car like a car's worth of alcohol. Not like a tank of gas, but like an entire car's worth of alcohol. So they must be going around urinating everywhere while they walk. <laughs> it's almost, I don't know. It's a, somebody did the math once and found some really interesting statistics because they can haul, like one of those rocks should be at least the weight of a car and they can haul like one-seventh of water. I don't know. Some interesting figures. They drink, drink. Probably taking stuff to be smelted. Let's check out our stockpile now. How many bars we got? Oh, we got enough to make a uh, Components, steel, serrated disc. All right. Got a lot of bronze, I guess, and copper. I never did. I need to dig out more gold. Dig out, get some more gold or. All right, see you. Oh, my back's starting to hurt for some reason. I guess sitting in this chair all day. Nothing much to report. There's nothing really left us for us to do. That's why we need to dig down to get the last hurrah. Apparently there's a dog in the yard. I don't know if you can overhear that in the yard, in the microphone. Somebody's dog, I don't know. Wish this house was quieter. We had more soundproofing. some more cups I wish the caravan would just leave so they can haul everything back
Oh, I'll go for about, I think we're going to quit at 7, 8, 10. I don't know. I really wish there was more to do at this point. We sunk about 33 hours before we got to this point, but eventually you get to a point where you just have to wait for stuff to happen. It's not really a downside of Dwarf Fortress, but uh, it is there. It's a lot of games you get to hear before, long before. Like I think there's only like 14 hours worth of real gameplay out of uh, Call of Duty. And even then, that's basically this the end of the game for playing single player. I guess you get a lot more if you do multiplayer, but. Alright. Alright. Let's check out our press honey. I don't know. I guess I've got like one of the best. In, I don't know. I wouldn't call it the, the best, but at least I got a highly efficient fort. I guess I could make it better, but you can always make you can make super mega mega projects like building a super pyramid outside. I guess I could do that. I could build a pyramid, build it outside, make it out of stone, build up ramps on it. Give my door something to do. You can always come up with certain stuff. It wasn't the way. Fortunately, there's not a hundred percent drop rate anymore. All right, go downstairs. All right, let's take some stairs. This is a very uneventful episode. Like no one's gone crazy. No one's. I guess we had a few moods. Let's check out somebody's happiness. I could like make it a goal to make somebody ecstatic. Well, he's ecstatic. Take a drink. Made a friend. Died in a legendary dining room. Stuff without a proper room. Admired the fine trading depot. Let's check out his buddy here. He's ecstatic lately. It looks like all our doors are ecstatic. Yeah, it's no one's complaining about lack of clothes, which is a good thing. We're all ecstatic. That's the highest happiness you can get. Pretty much all of them are ecstatic. What well, the dead child's ecstatic has been happy. Alright. This child hasn't left. It's not like injured or anything. She's just like sitting in the bed sleeping forever. Well, this one's just been happy. So we got some dwarves that aren't like extremely super happy. Mm-hmm. 
Like I should be doing something, but I can't know what for sure to do. Got a lot of cats outside. Hmm. They'll be my early warning systems. If there's an ambush, they'll attack the cats. Usually you don't get ambushes like when there's not any caravans. Caravans been hanging around a long time. Is it uh, 260 yet? Year 260. Nothing really to do. I guess I was going to work on my farm. We've got to wait till next year to get those animals. They can graze on all the cave moss in there. And everyone's been buried. I guess we want to get to hell. I'm not really referring to it by its proper name. Because that's where we want to go. All the way down. All the way down to the deepest depths. That's where we're going to... And we got an unhappy dwarf. Well, what's his problem? Worn clothes rotted away. Well, pick up some damn clothes. You s Wait a minute, is that... No, it's just a planter. Pick up some damn clothes. I don't know what's your problem. Every other dwarf is smart enough to put on clothes. Even the kids. I think they fix it so kids don't get unhappy thoughts. Like regular dwarves. Because they would run around naked. Because they don't have clothes by default. And they would instantly get unhappy thoughts. We got all that goblinite to pick up. I don't know. They could pick up all. Let's see what this is. This is fur trousers, grizzly bear leather trousers. They could put it on. And troll fur. Apparently, gate in this game, goblins shear trolls for fur and make fur outfits with it. Apparently you can't shear goblins, but you can. I guess that's the best way to put it. Like they can, and that's how the only way you can get goblin for outfits is um, shearing or having them shear. There's no way you. I don't think you can tame go trolls in this directly. Not that I'm aware of, because they're not really. They're more like sentient animals that are just friendly with the goblins. Is that a yak? I don't know. feel like I should be doing something. Like when you don't have a lot of to do, you kind of feel like you're forgetting something. And what am I forgetting? I don't know. I guess checking on our downstairs. This is pretty far for them to get stuff. I, I didn't realize how far down this was. It was like 57 compared. They have to walk up like 
They probably get thirsty by the time they get down here. I don't know what the miner's doing. They're drinking. <laughs> got thirsty on the way down and went back upstairs. Had a drink, came back down and got thirsty and <laughs> went back up. That's a lot of lava. I was glad I was able to dig down here. I guess I figured out how to get down through it all. For a while there, I, I thought I wasn't going to make it when that one lava chamber spewed. Doesn't look like there's as much I can get to. How far can we see down anyway? I wonder if I can get down this far. Anyways, I don't know. Oh, apparently I was in pause for a while. Look at our frames per second. Oh, it's going down. It's up to 37 now, 36, 37, I don't know. Slight improvement. I didn't really do anything. Look at all this crap that we've kind of generated. I think around 100,000 items that you, you get around 100,000 items, then you're forced to like get SPF death, death, which means it's really slowed down. All right, I really can't think of what else to do at this point. I'm not going to call it quits permanently. I'm just going to call it quits for a while. And maybe not make another video tomorrow. we got like three videos to upload. So lots of entertainment for you guys to watch. If you haven't watched it already, you're watching it now. Of course, if you're listening to this, you're obviously participating somewhat, I guess. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and pause it and do my end spiel so I want to thank you for watching hopefully we'll be doing plenty more of these videos I'm not gonna give it quits I, I just we've kinda run out of things to do in my mind I'll probably th I'll probably dig that drop pit just to do something while these goblin prisoners make them explode at the bottom of the pit and have some fun that way we'll we'll get to the really interesting fun at the bottom of the lava I don't know if I'll actually fight them when I get to the to the to hell I just want to get to hell just so I can say I did it in this video so you can see what it is it may be a big spoiler but uh, I am going to get to hell and we're going to have some fun down there um, before I quit the series it might be that what causes me to quit the series because it might blow our forward up if we don't do it exactly right We'll all die, and there'll be demons permanently in the fort, and we can't get back into it. But that happens. So as always, I want to thank you for watching, and you, everyone, have a good night.